वेलकम टू टेस्का टेक्नोलॉजी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड माय नेम इज आशिम दत्ता एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड ट्रांसमिशन लाइन यूनिट एंड इट्स ऑर्डर कोड इज 36111 सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स वर्किंग नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस किट सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू डू एन एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज वोल्टेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अलोंग ओपन सर्किट लाइन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डू द कनेक्शंस so firstly we will connect all the ports we will connect this port to this one then we will connect this port to this one then we will connect this port to this one then we will connect this port to this one then we will connect this port to this one then we will connect this port to this one then we will connect this port to this one then we will connect this port to this one then we will connect this port to this one now we will connect the function generator probe to the kit so the main port is connected to the first port of the kit which is this then we will connect the ground port to the ground one so that is how the function generator is connected to the kit now we will connect the dso probe so the main probe is connected to the first port and the ground port is connected to the ground one like this so that is how the connection is done now we will switch on the dso and function generator so now we can see that on the dso there is a sine wave which is of 1 volt and this is the input voltage at port 1 now we will see the output of port 1 so now we can see that on the dso there is a little change and from function generator we are giving sine wave and we can adjust the amplitude through the function generator so now we will see the waveform of second port so here we can see that on the dso when we connected the main cord of the dso to the second port we will see that the waveform amplitude reduces and now when we move forward to the port 3 then we can see that the waveform again reduces now we will move to port 4 output so here we can see that the waveform again reduces so that is how we can see the waveform on all the 10 ports like if we will see it on the fifth port then we can see that the waveform further reduces then we will see it on the sixth port then here we can see that the waveform now increases and from now the waveform again increases the amplitude of the waveform increases so that is how you can take the readings and on eighth port we can see that the waveform again increases the amplitude of the waveform increases and now on the tenth port we can see that the input voltage is again regain the on the tenth port the waveform is similar as the input of the first port so you can take the reading like this so that is how this experiment is performed now we will perform another experiment that is to study the voltage distribution along short circuit line so for that the connection will be same just we have to connect this wire to the ground one 
so we have to do the short circuit so now again we can see that on the dso there is a sine wave the function generator is providing the sine wave of 1 volt and the main probe of the dso is connected to the first port so now on the first port we can see that the current sine wave voltage is 1 volt now we will take the output so the output of first port is greater than the input so now we will see the input of the second port so this is the input waveform of the second port so now we will see the output of the second port so here we can see that the output waveform of the second port is greater in amplitude than the input now we will see the input waveform of the third port so this is the input waveform of the third port now we will see the output waveform of the third port so here we can see that the waveform have a greater amplitude than the input of its so now we will see the output of the fifth port so here on the fifth port we can see that the output waveform is increases or it has a greater amplitude now we will see the output of the sixth port now we will see the output of the seventh port so similarly we can see the output of all the 10 ports so here on the eighth port we can see that the input decreases so from the seventh port onward the input starts decreases and at the ninth port we can see that the output waveform decreases and this is the input waveform of the ninth port and the output waveform of the ninth port is this so we can see that the input waveform of the ninth port has a greater amplitude than the output waveform of the ninth port now we will see the tenth port so at tenth port we can see that the input is this but at the output we have a flat line because it is short circuited so that is how this experiment is performed now we will perform another experiment that is to study Ferrant effect so this is the effect in which the voltage at the receiving end of the transmission line is more than the sending voltage so for that we will connect the two ports like this the receiving port of the first one to the input port of the second port and we will provide the sine wave through this function generator and the ground port is connected to the ground one and the main port is connected to the first port at the input end now we will connect the CRO probe the ground one is connected to the ground and the input is connected to the first port so here we can see that on the DSO there is a sine wave so this is the input waveform so when we connect the main probe of the DSO to the output port of the second one we can see that the waveform has a greater amplitude so the voltage increases so the this is the input voltage waveform and this is the output voltage waveform so we can clearly see on the DSO there is a voltage difference and the output voltage waveform is greater than the input voltage waveform so you can see it on the DSO so that is how this experiment is performed so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query related to this kit you can contact at Tesca global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel